Hi readers, this is Gomadhi Shankar. I am very happy to meet you all in a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about whether averaging is good or bad for traders as well as investors. So many people are having a lot of misunderstandings about averaging. Few people might say we can average a losing position and few people might say we can average only a winning position and few people are having a different understanding that we should not average we should sit with the initial position. So which is good and which is bad? Let's check out in this video. So to understand whether averaging is good or bad, I'm going to show you an example. Let's take example a stock which is trading at 500 rupees. You are buying assuming that that particular stock prices will increase and you are buying 100 shares at 500 rupees. Now as you expected, the share prices are going up and now they are trading at 600 rupees. Now you are buying another 100 shares. So now totally you are having 200 shares. Now let's say once again, the share prices are increasing and they are reaching 700. So now you are very happy, you are buying another 100 shares. And again, the share prices are increasing and they are going to 800. Now you are very much happy and again you are buying another 100 shares. So now totally you are having 400 shares. You bought 100 at 500 rupees. You bought another 100 at 600 rupees. You bought another 100 at 700 rupees and you bought another 100 at 800 rupees. So totally now you are having 400 shares and your average buying price will be 650 rupees. The current market price is 800 rupees. So now you are sitting in a 150 rupees profit and you are totally having 400 shares. So totally you are at 60,000 rupee profits. So is this good or bad? This is absolutely good because the stock is performing well. You bought at 500, it went to 600 and then it went to 700 and finally now it is trading at 800 rupees. The stock is performing well. That particular company is performing well. Since the company is performing well, the prices are increasing and the investors are willing to buy that stock even though the prices are going higher and higher. So this is a very good example that you can average a position if that prices are increasing. You can take MR of tires as an example. The IPO price of MR of tires was just 11 rupees. And even during the COVID period, MR of tires share prices dropped up to 80,000 and now currently it is trading around 1 lakh rupee per share. So a company will perform well only if they are performing well the prices will keep on increasing and the investors will be willing to buy. Now let's take another example you are averaging a losing position. Now let's say you are buying another stock which is around 500 rupees you are buying 100 shares expecting that that company will go up. Now the share prices are decreasing to 400. You are thinking that surely it will go up and this is the best price to accumulate. So you are buying another 100 shares. Now once again to your surprise the stock prices are declining to 300. You are thinking that again it will go up and you are averaging and you are buying another 100 shares. Now once again the share prices are declining to 200. Once again you are thinking the share prices will go up and again you are buying another 100 shares. So now totally you will have 400 shares. At 500 you bought 100 shares. At 400 you bought another 100 shares. At 300 you bought 100 shares. And finally at 200 you bought another 100 shares. So now you are averaging a losing position. Now your average buying price will be 350 rupees and the stock is trading around 200 rupees. So now totally you are in 150 rupees loss. You are having 400 shares. So totally you are in 60,000 loss. So is this good or bad? This is absolutely bad because the stock is not performing well and the prices are declining. You are trusting that stock and you are keep on accumulating it. And now your losses have increased and you are in a huge loss of 60,000 rupee. Now in case you are not accumulating, let's say you are buying only 100 shares at 500 rupees 
and when the prices are declining you are not at all averaging now at 200 rupees you would having only 100 shares and you will be in a loss of 300 rupees and totally your loss will be just 30000 rupee now instead of losing 60000 you are just losing 30000 rupee if you are accumulating a losing position your losses are getting doubled on the other hand if you are not accumulating your losing position you are just losing 30000 rupee so you have to understand that the stock is not performing well so you should not bet on a bad performing company you should always bet only on the good performing company now this averaging example applies for traders also many traders are averaging a losing position so what happens they are accumulating a lot of shares and they are losing heavily and even their capital is lost in case if you are accumulating a winning position you would be sitting comfortably in profits so this is a very good example to identify whether averaging is good or bad for you i hope this video is useful for you if you like this video you can share it with your friends and you can ask your queries in the comment section Together we grow as a price action trading community. Thank you. Bye.